Growing up, I was a straight-A student. Lauren Sowell says her grandparents raised her and her four other siblings. Even though she did well in school, grew up in a Christian household, she wasn't getting the attention she craved. I felt invisible. I felt like I didn't belong. It was at the age of 14 she ran away. It was then she was taken into the world of sex trafficking. She now helps others through her advocacy work and sees firsthand how apps are used to lure. Some are using Backpage. I know that some are actually using Facebook Messenger and some are actually setting up Messenger kids and pretending to be someone's child. Some predators are out there using dating apps like Hot or Not or Scout. Others use messaging apps like Kick or WhatsApp or apps meant for entertainment like Snapchat or TikTok. Law enforcement in Sarasota, Florida said 25 men used these apps and others during a bust over the summer. Face it, the internet's like an open door to your house. I mean, it's like leaving the door unlocked or a window open. First Lieutenant Mike Shaw with Michigan State Police says parents should be vigilant of all apps and suggests parents track their children's phones and laptops. Let them know, hey, I'm putting this application on your phone. It's for your own safety. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just I don't trust people that are on the internet. First Lieutenant Shaw says this conversation is critical to keeping children safe. Sowell suggests a conversation as well. If you have a daughter, son, see them and love them. Now, Sowell is going to be speaking at an event in February. We have information on our website at WXYZ.com and also on our website, a list of apps parents should be on the lookout for.